Did you know that most of us make thousands of decisions every single day? But many of those choices are automatic. If you want to truly take control of your life, you need to learn how to consciously choose your responses. Whether it's deciding how to react in a heated moment, weighing a life-changing opportunity, or simply determining what to focus on each day, your decisions shape your reality. The power to make those decisions wisely isn't something you're born with. It's a skill that you can cultivate. In this video, we'll dive deep into the art of decision-making, explore techniques to manage your emotions, and discover how to stay true to your core values, no matter what life throws at you. If you've ever wondered how to stop letting impulsive reactions or fear guide your choices, or if you've found yourself stuck, overanalyzing decisions to the point of paralysis, you're in the right place. This script will guide you through strategies that will not only help you improve your decision-making, but also allow you to embrace the unknown with confidence. Stay tuned, because by the end of this, you'll start seeing your choices, not as overwhelming, but as opportunities to shape the life you want to live. 1. The Power to Choose Our response. There's something incredibly empowering about realizing that, in every moment of our lives, we possess the ability to choose how we respond. Think back for a second. Remember those childhood moments when the world felt so full of wonder and possibility? When you were told, you can be anything you want to be when you grow up, or it's your choice. That feeling of freedom, of having the whole world ahead of you, that's the same sense of control you can carry into adulthood, no matter how chaotic life may seem. The truth is, every day, life presents us with choices. Some are small and seemingly insignificant. What should I have for lunch? Should I text that person back now or later? Other decisions, however, are monumental. Should I quit my job? Should I move to a new city? Regardless of the scale, every decision you make shapes the trajectory of your life. And often, we find ourselves acting out of impulse, rushing through decisions without really pausing to reflect. But here's something powerful that I want you to consider. Between every stimulus and your response, there is a moment, a space where you get to decide. This space is where your power lies. In that space is where your growth, freedom and potential thrive. Imagine how different your life could be if instead of reacting to everything thrown your way, you took a moment to pause, reflect and choose how to respond. That's what Stoicism teaches us. It's the art of mastering that space and ensuring our choices align with our highest values. Now think back. We've all had moments where we said something or did something in the heat of the moment that we later regretted. Maybe it was a spat with a family member or a decision you made in a hurry, only to realize that if you had just waited, just paused for a second, the outcome might have been entirely different. It's like looking back at a younger version of yourself and wishing you could whisper, slow down, think about this. But here's the beauty. It's never too late to start applying this principle. That space between what happens to us and how we react. That's where wisdom lives. And today we're going to explore how you can master it. 2. The power of pause. Let's start with something so simple, yet so transformative. The power of pause. In a world that seems to be spinning faster and faster, where everything demands your immediate attention, whether it's work emails, social media notifications, or personal responsibilities, learning to pause feels like a superpower. It's like hitting the brakes on a high-speed car just before you reach a cliff. That momentary halt can change everything. Think about how often you rush through your day without stopping to breathe, without pausing to consider how you feel or what you really want. We're constantly reacting Reacting to what someone said, reacting to a situation that's stressing us out, reacting to the countless demands placed on us. It's exhausting. But what if, instead of reacting, 
you chose to respond deliberately. Now, let's get personal. Picture yourself in one of those moments where life feels overwhelming. Maybe it's a heated argument with your partner, or perhaps it's a work situation where everything feels urgent. You're under pressure, your emotions are high, and the natural instinct is to react. Maybe say something you don't mean, or make a decision you'll later regret. It's a familiar feeling, isn't it? But what if instead you paused, just for a moment, took a deep breath, counted to five. In those five seconds, everything could shift. You'd give your brain the space it needs to catch up with your emotions, to think through the situation with clarity instead of impulse. I remember a time in my life, maybe you can relate, where I had to make a decision on the spot. I was younger, eager to prove myself, always moving at full speed. I thought that decisiveness meant making decisions quickly, without hesitation. But in that haste, I made mistakes. I burned bridges. I let emotions drive me, and I ended up making choices I regretted later. Have you ever been in a situation where you acted too quickly, only to wish you could take it back? Maybe it was an argument with a loved one where words flew out of your mouth before you even had time to think, and once they were out, there was no reeling them back in. Those moments teach us, don't they? They remind us of the importance of pausing. Here's where Stoicism comes in. The Stoics believed that taking time, pausing, was essential to making wise decisions. They practiced this deliberately. The moment you pause, you regain control. You're no longer a slave to your emotions, to the heat of the moment. You can choose how to respond with clarity, reason, and purpose. Think of all the choices you've made recently. Could any of them have benefited from a pause? Maybe that text you sent when you were angry, or the snap decision to buy something you didn't really need. What would have happened if you took just five seconds to breathe before acting? By simply pausing, you transform the way you live your life. Every pause is a reminder that you control how you respond to the world, not the other way around. And once you start practicing this, pausing before decisions, especially in emotionally charged situations, you'll notice something incredible. You start making better choices. Choices that align with who you really are and what you really want. Three, perspective shifting techniques. Now. Let's talk about perspective. Have you ever noticed how different things look when you view them from another angle? Life, much like a painting, can appear vastly different depending on where you're standing. And sometimes when we're in the thick of things, it's hard to see the bigger picture. We get caught up in the moment, focused on the here and now, without realizing that this moment is just a small part of a much larger tapestry. Let's dive into the concept of shifting perspectives. Imagine you're going through something tough, maybe a breakup or a stressful situation at work. In that moment, it feels all-consuming, doesn't it? It's like the world is closing in on you and nothing else matters. You've probably had a moment like this in the past. Maybe it was a time when you felt completely overwhelmed, convinced that this one situation would define everything. But here's the thing. Looking back, you likely realize it wasn't as monumental as it felt. Time has a way of shifting our perspective, doesn't it? Now think about how it feels when you remember something from years ago that once caused you so much stress or pain. At the time, it seemed enormous. But now, with some distance, it's just a memory, one small part of the bigger story of your life. Maybe it's even something you laugh about now. That's the power of perspective. The Stoics had a method for this. They called it the view from above. Imagine zooming out of your current situation like you're rising up into the sky, looking down on your life from a bird's eye view. Suddenly, what seems so pressing shrinks in significance. That fight you had with your friend, that work deadline, even that major life decision. It's all part of a much bigger picture. And when you view your life from this higher perspective, 
it becomes easier to see what truly matters and what doesn't. You start to realize that so many of the things that stress you out today won't even be a thought a month or a year from now. This isn't about minimizing your feelings or pretending things aren't important. It's about giving yourself the space to see your problems for what they are, temporary. Have you ever had a moment where, looking back, you wish you could have seen things differently, maybe a time when you made a choice that seemed huge at the moment, but in hindsight wasn't such a big deal? I remember one of those moments clearly. There was a time when I was completely caught up in a career decision. I was stressed beyond belief, convinced that if I didn't make the right choice, my entire future would be at stake. But now, years later, I realized that decision was just one of many stepping stones. It didn't make or break me. It was just part of the journey. Now, let's explore another perspective shifting technique, the role reversal. Think of a time when you were in a heated situation, maybe an argument or a difficult decision. Now, imagine you're no longer yourself in that moment, but someone else. Maybe a friend, a mentor, or even a stranger. How would they see this situation? What advice would they give you? It's funny how often we can solve other people's problems, isn't it? When we're looking at someone else's life, the answers seem clear. But when it comes to our own, we're clouded by emotions, by attachment. This technique helps you step outside of yourself for a moment. It allows you to see things more objectively, to find clarity in situations where your emotions might be fogging your judgment. We've all been there, stuck in a moment, feeling like there's no way out. But by shifting your perspective, by stepping back, or imagining how someone else would approach the situation, you gain clarity. You see options you didn't realize were there. And here's something powerful. Once you practice shifting your perspective, it becomes easier to let go of the small stuff, to realize that many of the things that seem so big right now are just temporary. When you start viewing life this way, you'll notice a shift in your decision-making. You'll become less reactive and more thoughtful. You'll start making choices that are aligned with your long-term values, not just your immediate feelings. Four. Emotional management. We've all been there, stuck in the middle of a moment where emotions are running wild, where the heat of anger or frustration takes over and the rational mind is silenced. But what if you could step back, just for a second, and control the storm inside before it wreaks havoc on your decisions? Emotional management is not about denying how you feel, it's about acknowledging those emotions and choosing how you respond to them. Think about the last time you let anger or anxiety drive your actions. Maybe you said something in an argument that you immediately regretted, or perhaps you made a decision in a moment of frustration that left you with consequences far worse than the original issue. It's so relatable because we've all been there, trying to navigate life while juggling emotions we don't fully understand. What if I told you that there's a way to keep those emotions in check, not by suppressing them, but by naming and understanding them? Let's dive into the technique of naming the emotion. It's simple, but powerful. When you're feeling angry, anxious, or even overly excited, pause and ask yourself, what exactly am I feeling? Naming the emotion, whether it's anger, fear, or excitement, instantly reduces its grip on you. You stop being a slave to that feeling and start becoming a manager of it. This small shift in perspective allows you to take a step back and regain control. Here's where nostalgia comes in. Think about your younger self, maybe in your teenage years or early 20s, when emotions seemed so intense and all-consuming, everything felt like the end of the world. Yet as time went on, you learned that not every emotional reaction needed to be acted on. Now, imagine how different things would have been if you'd had the ability back then to name those emotions, to understand them for what they were. 
It's a nostalgic reminder that with time comes wisdom, and wisdom teaches us that we are not our emotions. We can feel deeply, but we don't have to act impulsively. Now comes the curiosity. What would happen if, starting today, you mastered this skill of emotional management? How would your relationships change? How would your career improve? How would your day-to-day -day decisions evolve? If you could consistently name, manage and respond to your emotions rather than react to them, you'd be operating from a place of power, not weakness. It's a life-altering skill, one that opens up a world of possibilities you might not have even considered. 5. Rational Analysis now, let's switch gears and talk about the importance of rational analysis in decision-making. If emotional management is about calming the storm, rational analysis is about setting your course once the clouds clear. It's easy to make decisions when your mind is clear, but it's crucial to have tools that help you when emotions, uncertainty and confusion cloud your thinking. Consider the last big decision you had to make. Whether it was something as significant as changing jobs, deciding where to live, or even something more personal, like choosing a path in your relationship. Did you sit down and systematically weigh your options, or did you make a gut decision based on emotion or external pressure? We often act on impulse because it feels easier in the moment, but a well-thought-out decision can change everything. One of the most classic yet effective tools is the pros and cons list. This isn't just something you hear about in self-help books or cheesy motivational talks. It's a proven method to organize your thoughts and visualize your choices. Take the time to sit down, write out the benefits and drawbacks of each option, and really examine them. You might be surprised by how this simple act clarifies your decision-making process. Let's get nostalgic for a moment. Remember being a child, maybe sitting in school or at the dinner table, trying to make what felt like the most important decision of your young life. Something like choosing a sport to play, or whether to stay in one social group or branch out into another. Back then, everything seemed like a big deal because you didn't yet have the ability to zoom out and see the bigger picture. That's what a pros and cons list does for you today. It gives you perspective, clarity, and the ability to separate emotion from reason. Now, let's spark some curiosity. Imagine if you applied this method to every important decision you face moving forward. Not just the big, life-changing choices, but the small, everyday ones too. From deciding how to spend your time to figuring out the best way to tackle a challenge at work, this process of rational analysis could revolutionize your ability to make smarter choices. What would your life look like a year from now if you made every decision with careful consideration and clarity of mind? The possibilities are endless. 6. Values and Principles At the core of every wise decision is something even deeper, your personal values and principles. These are the invisible forces that guide your actions, whether you realize it or not. But how often do we stop to really consider whether our decisions align with these inner compasses? Think about the last time you felt uneasy after making a choice. Maybe it was a decision that looked good on paper but left you with a nagging feeling in your gut. Often, that uneasiness comes from acting against your values, even if it wasn't intentional. The decision didn't sit right with you because, deep down, it clashed with what you truly believe in. One method to ensure your decisions align with your values is the integrity check. This is where you ask yourself, does this decision reflect who I am and what I stand for? It's about checking in with yourself to see if the choice at hand is consistent with your principles. When you make decisions that align with your core values, you avoid regret and internal conflict. It's like building a solid foundation that keeps you grounded, no matter what life throws your way. Let's look back on the past for a moment. Think about a time in your life when you made a decision that didn't align with your values. 
Maybe you took a job just for the money or said something to fit in with a group, even though it wasn't true to who you are. That uncomfortable feeling that followed, that was your inner self protesting against the misalignment. It's a nostalgic reminder that the best decisions are the ones that make you feel at peace with yourself. Now, imagine the opposite. Picture yourself consistently making decisions that align with your values. What if, from today onward, you applied an integrity check to everything you do? How much more confident would you be in your choices? How much clearer would your path become? This idea should make you curious. Curious about how much more authentic your life could be. How much closer you could get to living in a way that truly reflects who you are and what matters most to you. There's power in aligning your actions with your values. It's like planting seeds that will grow into a life you're proud of. A life that reflects your deepest beliefs and desires. When you master this skill, you become someone whose decisions are not swayed by external pressures or fleeting emotions, but are rooted in principles that stand the test of time. 7. Seeking counsel. While emotional management and rational analysis are critical to decision-making, there's another key aspect that often goes overlooked. Seeking counsel. No one makes decisions in a vacuum. In fact, some of the most successful people in history attribute their wisdom to the people they surrounded themselves with and the advice they sought at critical junctures in their lives. Think about a time when you were faced with a tough decision. Did you reach out to anyone for advice? Maybe a friend, a family member or a mentor. Their perspective likely helped you see the situation from a different angle. It's so relatable, right? We all have those people in our lives whom we trust to guide us, especially when our own thoughts are clouded by emotion or uncertainty. But it's not just about asking for advice. It's about seeking counsel from the right people. Not everyone is qualified to give advice on every subject. A well-meaning friend might have your best interest at heart, but they may lack the experience or knowledge necessary to provide valuable insight on a particular issue. This is where the concept of trusted mentors comes into play. People who have walked the path you're on, who have faced similar challenges, and who have the wisdom that comes from experience. Here's where the nostalgic reflection comes in. Remember when you were younger and you felt like you had to figure everything out on your own? Maybe you didn't want to admit you needed help or you were too proud to ask. How much easier would life have been if you had just reached out to someone with more experience? Reflecting on those times can make us realize the importance of not going it alone. Seeking counsel is not a sign of weakness, it's a sign of wisdom. Now, let's invoke curiosity. Imagine how much further you could go in life if you built a network of mentors and advisors. What if, at every critical decision point, you had access to people who had already navigated similar waters. How would that shape your decisions? How much more confident would you feel? Seeking counsel is like tapping into a well of collective wisdom, giving you a better chance at making informed, well-rounded decisions. The curiosity here is, what would happen if you never had to make a major decision alone again? How much smoother would your journey through life be? Eight. Reflecting on past decisions. One of the most powerful ways to improve your decision-making in the present is by reflecting on your past decisions. Life is a series of choices, and each one, whether good or bad, holds valuable lessons. Yet, we often move through life without taking the time to look back and extract those lessons. It's as if we're leaving valuable treasure buried in our past, when in reality, reflecting on those choices could make us wiser and more intentional in the future. Consider this. When was the last time you paused to reflect on a major decision you made? Maybe it was a career move, a relationship choice, or even a financial investment. How did that decision play out? What were the factors that influenced it? And most importantly, 
what did you learn from it? Reflecting on past decisions is like conducting a personal audit of your thought process. You can identify patterns, both good and bad, and use that information to improve your future choices. Nostalgia plays a big role here. Think about a time years ago when you made a decision that felt like the right one, but in hindsight, you can now see the flaws in your reasoning. Maybe you were driven by emotion, or perhaps you didn't have all the information at the time. Reflecting on those moments can be bittersweet, but it also provides clarity. We see our younger selves full of good intentions, but often lacking the wisdom that only experience can bring. Now, let's get curious. Imagine if you made it a regular habit to reflect on your decisions, big and small. What patterns would you uncover? Would you find that you tend to rush into decisions when you're feeling stressed, or that you avoid making choices when you're uncertain? What if this practice could help you break free from those patterns? Reflecting on the past isn't about living in regret. It's about using the past as a tool to sharpen your decision-making in the future. How would your life change if you consistently applied the lessons from your past to your present? 9. Avoiding common biases. When it comes to decision-making, our brains are often working against us. Even with all the emotional management, rational analysis, and counsel in the world, we're still vulnerable to cognitive biases, those mental shortcuts that lead us to make decisions based on flawed logic. Recognizing and avoiding these biases is key to making more accurate, rational choices. One of the most common biases is confirmation bias, the tendency to seek out information that supports our existing beliefs and ignore evidence that contradicts them. It's something we've all experienced. Think about the last time you had your mind made up about something and then went online to research it. Did you really look for balanced objective information or did you gravitate towards sources that confirmed what you already believed? Confirmation bias feels good because it reinforces our worldview, but it's also incredibly limiting. It keeps us from seeing the full picture and making informed decisions. Another bias that often trips us up is the status quo bias, the tendency to stick with what we know, even if change could bring better results. This is so relatable, especially when we think about those moments in life where we had the opportunity to take a risk but chose the safer, more familiar route. It's human nature to resist change, but in doing so, we sometimes miss out on opportunities for growth and improvement. Here's the nostalgic element. Think back to a time in your life when you were faced with a big decision, but chose the safer option, even though there was a part of you that wanted to take the risk. Maybe it was staying in a job you didn't love because it felt secure, or sticking with a routine that no longer served you because it was comfortable. Reflecting on those moments can remind us of the times we let bias guide our decisions and how things might have turned out differently if we had been more aware of those mental shortcuts. Now let's stir some curiosity. What would your decision-making process look like if you were able to recognize and avoid these biases? Imagine being able to spot confirmation bias as it happens and actively seek out opposing viewpoints to challenge your thinking. Or imagine being aware of your status quo bias and consciously choosing to step outside your comfort zone when the situation calls for it. How much more balanced and well-rounded would your decisions be? What opportunities could open up for you if you weren't held back by cognitive biases? The ability to recognize and counteract these biases is like having a secret weapon in your decision-making arsenal. One that can elevate your thinking and lead to better, more fulfilling outcomes. 10. Embracing uncertainty. Finally, let's talk about one of the most challenging but essential aspects of decision-making, embracing uncertainty. Life is unpredictable, and no matter how much planning or analysis you do, you'll never have all the answers. This is a truth that can be both terrifying and liberating. 
depending on how you look at it. We've all been there, staring at a decision that feels monumental, knowing that no matter what choice we make, there's no guarantee of the outcome. It's relatable because everyone has faced that moment of uncertainty, whether it was choosing a career path, moving to a new city, or starting a relationship, that lingering question of what if can be overwhelming. But here's the thing, uncertainty is unavoidable. It's part of the human experience. The question isn't whether we can eliminate uncertainty, but whether we can learn to live with it, even embrace it. Imagine for a moment the freedom that comes from accepting that uncertainty is a constant companion in life. This shift in perspective can bring a surprising sense of peace. Instead of fighting against the unknown or endlessly analyzing every possible outcome, what if you leaned into the uncertainty? What if you accepted that, no matter how much you plan, there's always going to be an element of risk? This doesn't mean you stop being careful or thoughtful in your decision-making. It just means you make peace with the fact that you won't always have all the answers, and that's okay. Now let's add a layer of nostalgia. Think back to a time when you made a decision, even though you weren't 100% certain about the outcome. Maybe it was a leap of faith, or maybe you simply trusted your gut. How did it turn out? More often than not, even if the result wasn't exactly what you expected, you likely grew from the experience. Maybe you gained new insights, new relationships, or a newfound sense of resilience. Those moments of uncertainty may have been nerve-wracking at the time, but looking back, they often hold some of our most valuable life lessons. This leads to a sense of curiosity. What if, going forward, you could fully embrace the uncertainty in your life? What if, instead of seeing the unknown as something to be feared, you saw it as an opportunity for growth, for discovery? How would that change the way you approach decisions? What exciting paths might open up if you stopped needing to have all the answers before taking the first step? Embracing uncertainty is not about being reckless or making decisions without thought. It's about recognizing that life is inherently unpredictable and that sometimes the most rewarding experiences come from stepping into the unknown. What might your life look like if you stopped waiting for certainty and started embracing the possibilities that come with not knowing exactly how things will turn out? The curious part is that you'll never truly know until you make that leap. In the end, uncertainty is a gift, not a burden. It's what keeps life interesting and full of potential. Each decision, each moment of stepping into the unknown is an opportunity to learn, to grow, and to become more than you were before. So, how will you embrace the uncertainty that lies ahead? If you've watched this far, drop a hundred in the comments below. This shows you're part of the elite 0.01% who are truly committed to making impactful changes in your life. Remember, every decision you make is a building block towards creating the life you aspire to lead. Embracing these techniques will not only enhance your decision-making, but also empower you to navigate life's uncertainties with greater confidence and clarity. If you're serious about transforming your approach to decision-making, and want to continue on this journey of personal growth, make sure to subscribe to our channel. Join our community of like-minded individuals who are committed to continuous improvement and living life to its fullest. Your path to making wiser choices starts here, and we're excited to be a part of it with you.